somebody go shush. Thank you so much. Welcome. How are you this morning? I think the shushing was louder than that. How are you this morning? That's better. That's better. Do you know what you're here to see? What's the name of the show? Wrong. That's right. It's the story of the ugly duckling. And it's actually the culmination of our summer camp, Camp OSTC. So all of the kids that you see on stage have been working on this production for two weeks. So I want you to be very enthusiastic about that. We're extraordinarily proud. Um, if you don't know, my name is Amy Turner. I'm the producing artistic director for Ocean State Theater Company, which is the not-for-profit producing entity that helped reopen this theater back in 2007. We are thrilled that you took a day out of your summer to come and spend with us as part of our children's festival. Um, some of you have been here before because I recognize you. Is there anyone who's here for the very first time? Fantastic. Well, welcome, welcome, welcome. I always like to ask those kids that are here for the very first time to look around and tell me what do you think this building used to be before it was a theater? A barn. It was a barn. Now, what's interesting about our show today is it is about barnyard animals and farm animals. So this is going to be really easy. But what what kinds of animals might live in a barn? Go ahead. You can tell me. Are there any of those animals in here today? No. I hope not. Good. For you adults and kids that have a really high ability of counting, this barn was built about 150 years ago and turned into a theater almost 80 years ago and uh, has been helping kids really learn to appreciate and gain a love for theater for that many years. So we're thrilled that you're a part of that. Um, the other thing I'd like to tell you is that there are three things that we always need to know in how to be a good audience. Do you care to hear that? All right, the first thing is we do want to be quiet and listen to the performers. So I'm going to count to three, and on the count of three, I want you to practice being quiet and listening, okay? Ready? One, two, three. That's perfect. Very nice. The second thing is that we can make noise every once in a while. If something is funny, for instance, we can laugh out loud. That's very much encouraged. So on the count of three, I want everybody to laugh out loud as hard as they can, okay? One, two, three. <laughs> Wonderful. And the third thing is that you need to know how to say thank you. And we say thank you by clapping or applauding. And uh, so at the end of the performance, or if there's something you really love, you say thank you by applauding. So on the count of three, we're going to put our hands together in a big round of applause. One, two, three. And that is everything you need to know about going to the theater. So I would like to just do a couple of quick shout outs to our camp director, that's Tom Gledow, and our assistant camp director, Esther Vinsky. Yes, thank you. And all the wonderful kids that were involved, and also for the parents that got through all that beach traffic for the past two weeks. We appreciate that effort. Um, also, there's a couple of announcements. The first is just take a little notice and look at all these barn doors that are open today. If there's an emergency, please use one of those exits as quickly as possible. Um, you are allowed to take pictures during the show, but please, 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 no flash photography because it's very disconcerting to our actors up on stage. Um, if you do have a cell phone or a mobile device, please take it out of your pocket or out of your purse and actually turn it off. For the next hour, it's just one hour, so you can make it, so that doesn't distract anybody either. But are you ready for honk? Yeah! All right, so we're going to put our hands together one last time to welcome and thank everybody for their participation. Here goes honk!
flight is slow. There's a website where it's as real as our use. We spend days the way that's order, eating bread thrown on the water in a way that keeps the younger kids amused. In our land, both green and pleasant, every bant and duck and pheasant, if they had them, we'd be walking arm and arm. For our life is good and steady till we're plucked and oven ready. <laughs> it's a poultry tale of folk down on farm. <laughs> There's a turkey with a gobble water. To wobble, cause Thanksgiving gives your cause your some alarm. We've got goats, we've got chickens, we've got quails, who want the chickens? It's a poultry tale, folk down on the farm. What a gorgeous vision this is. It's I, she's my missus. So forgive me if I play not the Quacking to point out the skills I'm lacking. It's a poultry tale. I hope that my farm. Come on down and don't be strangers. In our duckyard of free rangers. It's a poultry tale. A
<laughs> well, we'll just have to wait and see what size of family he takes after. Won't we, dear? Yes, dear. Anyways, must fly. I promised the rooster I'd help count his chicken. Shall I see you back here? Where else do you suppose I'm going to be? Thank you. 
sort of orange reserve that often found on several. No, what's not away? Oh. <laughs> Listen very carefully, though. I want you to back away. No sudden moves. What are you talking about? There's something behind you. Something not very nice. This is your son, dear. Oh, I bring a monster. Don't be ridiculous. He's just not your normal one of the milk on top. That's all. That's all. I know. I have a reputation. I know, dear. I wouldn't brag about it if I were you. I'm scared. I tell you, he is a turkey. He is not a turkey. He loves to swim. Cranberry sauce. <laughs>
the other ducklings. No manage, Drake. My mind is made up. But you're wasting your time, love. You know you are. And apart from that, it's way too dangerous to go wandering past the churchyard this time of year. Try to understand, dear. A mother knows. I won't be satisfied until I find the truth.
I don't know. 